All right, let's take a caller or two, Savage Nation. Olivia WFNC Radio, line nine. Go ahead, please. What's on your mind? I just wanted to say how extremely racist and uh, discriminatory it is to say we need to close off our borders, uh, and especially to target those people in middle. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, you're a snowflake. So, can you name one country that does not have borders? The name calling that is so. I asked you a question. Can you name a country that does not have borders? What? The problem is, we are trying to become a white national country under a white supremacist. Lady, do you know what you're even talking about? Can you name one nation that does not have borders? I asked you a simple question. No, no, no that's not the perp That's not the point. I understand we have borders. That's fine. But it's about allowing people to come in, especially also from the Middle East and other countries that are suffering from. Why? Why would you want everyone to come in to do what? What are they coming here for? Well, I work with the International Rescue, Com uh, Rescue Committee, where we work with refugees. Really? And what percentage of refugees are productive citizens five years after being here? That's, and that's the point. That is part of the misinformation about it. And what? The well, wait, so far, you haven't made a statement. You're giving me one statement after another. You, hold it. You call me a racist. Now you say there's misinformation. So tell me, what percentage of refugees are self-sufficient after five years? They are. Many of them are. And I didn't ask you many of them. You're an expert. Give me the percentage. Whoa, I didn't say I'm an expert. What percent of our what percent of our prison population are illegal aliens? Give me that answer because that's an imp a simple one. What percent What percent of prisoners are illegal aliens? Shouldn't be illegal aliens in the first place. We should be making this. Right, don't tell me any more rhetoric. If you can't state facts, then there's no point in this discussion. What percent of illegal aliens are prisoners in prison for multiple felonies? Speaking and trying man. Twenty-seven percent, lady, of our prisoners are illegal aliens who have come here and gotten caught committing felonies. That's almost a third of them. So don't tell me they're all productive citizens, miss. Two, our problem is the fact that we're making immigration so hard and that we're closing off and not helping people who are in need. Are we completely neglecting the fact that America was founded by immigrants? And oh, stop giving me the, 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 the first great answer, uh, because I'll give you the answer to your dumb answer. When America was founded by immigrants, was this a welfare state as it is now? That doesn't... Why would you... <laughs> <laughs> not everybody came here to, to live off the system like a leech there were no food stamps there was no welfare there was no this there was no that they came here to work and they broke their backs working like my grandfather did and died at, four, at 47 from working so hard no we weren't the welfare state at that time an immigrant who was considered a WAP until after post-World War II. You know, you keep jumping from one statement to the other as a typical ignoramus, that when you can't win a point, you change the, the argument to another point. You're not in a school right now. You're not talking to your friends in the United Nations. You're talking to the national audience on the Savage Nation, and we are logical. And you're not making a logical statement. Not one of your statements makes sense. I've been trying to make logical statements. You keep talking. No, you started by saying it's racist to demand borders. That was one of the stupidest things I've ever heard racist to say that i'm saying it's racist to target saying what you said in your comments saying well they can't have people coming from the middle east and latin america guatemala and stuff no you can't have more people coming from the middle east at a time of terror can you without vetting them we need to what do you want more people coming in from syria some of whom could be bombers these are you live in a dream world unfortunately your dreams are a dangerous nightmare for most people who have a rational mind Join the Savage Nation. Call now.